Hey guys, it's uh, Zornance here. Those of you who saw my last video will be a little bit spoiled as to what this is going to be about, especially if you've seen the title. So there's no point in um, delaying this. Um, it's Super Mario 64 on the N64, and it's something I've wanted to do for a while. I couldn't do it before because my laptop couldn't run an N64 emulator and uh, recording software, but now that I can, I'm going to do it. I'll probably come back to Sonic 3 at some point, but for the time being, it's all about Super Mario 64, so let's do this shit. It's me, Mario! I never get tired of this game. Hello! Play it about a million times. Obviously, okay. no exaggeration there, and I still love it. Dear Mario, please come to the castle. Makes me laugh every time. Peach. Get the introduction here as Likitu. Goes around the castle. I do like the intro to this game. There's no sort of bullshit here. It's just come to a castle, I'll bake the cake for you. And up he comes. See the Final Fantasy games with their fancy FMVs and all of that nonsense. Mario cuts crap. You gotta love him for that. So the adventure begins. Chow, I always thought Chow meant bye, but they used it as hello here. Yeah? For some reason. I shall look into that. You don't really need to read all this, I'm just talking about the camera angles, of course, which we all know about. Here we get Bowser's laugh. Meet the voice actor who did that. Evil man. Straight into our first world. Bob on Battlefield. It's funny, me and my friends actually used to think that when he says let's go there, we used to think he said hot pickle. <laughs> I don't know why we ever thought that, like, I can't even explain it, because listening to it now sounds so ridiculous, but let's go, hot pickle, I'm sure there's, I'm sure it sounds somewhat similar in, in Mario's voice, we'll hear it a fair few times, 120 stars, in case you're wondering, I'm playing this game pretty legitimately, I'm not going through any cheats, this isn't a speed run, this isn't beating a game of 16 stars or something. I just want to play the game normally and have a really good laugh and just hopefully you'll enjoy it with me. If you haven't played the game before you're really missing out. I highly suggest you get it. The DS version is great as well. Of course own that. You've got to play one of them. It's our first boss, first level, we fight a boss straight away. How awesome is that? The King Bomb. King Bob Bomb even. Here's of course a piece of cake. Which means I'll die against him. <laughs> because I'm recording a video. First time playing this, I did it. used to think you have to actually throw him down the mountain to beat him, which I don't know, makes sense to me, but he jumps all the way back up if you do that. I don't know how. You can manage a fall down the entire mountain and jump straight back up without any damage, yet you drop him two feet, two feet there, and he gets hurt from it. Someone explain that one to me. But anyway, that's our first star done. One down, 119 more to go. I can get a, uh, go into a few more paintings now, but Bob on Battlefield has a few more stars to offer. So I go straight back here. Every world has their own cannons in as well, the pink Bob-ombs. And that's our first one. 
we don't need to use them now, but in the future, they will gain us many stars. Our first race against Cooper the Quick, I think. He actually only raced him twice in the entire game, but the second one is much harder. So I, of course, have to screw up at the beginning, give him a little advantage, why not? Get hit by the chain jump, as I do most times. And I was actually testing this video out before I actually lost against Cooper the Quick. It was so embarrassing. Just, I fell off the bridge at that point and then I went to go in the cannon and realised I hadn't spoken to the problems. So that wasted another few seconds and it was just terrible. First time I'd ever lost to him. Oh no, I'm going to do it again! I'm going to do it again! I can't believe it. I can't believe I'm going to lose against him again. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, we might be okay. The shortcut works. Might be okay. If he doesn't see me. Oh, God. I thought I was done for right there. Jeez. Hope you can see me, because sometimes if he actually sees you doing that, he um, calls you out on it. He doesn't give you the star. Did he? He didn't. Oh. So he shits out the star for me. Thank you very much, Cooper. That is star number two gained. Quite fortunately. Nearly made a mess out of that. Shoots behind in the sky. Okay, I know this one. I was talking about the cannons in the previous video. This is it right now. This is our first usage of them. It's, I was saying I was not going to use any tricks, but to be honest, I can't be bothered to go up to the mountain for this one. So there is a little trick to this one. First time coming through, you climb all the way up the mountain and shoot across. But doing it this time, you just do this. Why waste a couple of minutes, eh? Done. Star number three out of the way. I can open more doors. I don't know what's going on now. There we go. That was odd. Let's see, what are we doing now? We're finding the eight red coins. So let me see if I can do this in the one minute and a half left I have before I reach YouTube's ten minute point. Self point. Keep doing ground pounds. How did I miss him there? Mad skills. I'm sure there's a couple around here. Yeah, there we go. A minute to go. Can I do it? There's one down here too. Get the extra life on him here. As soon as I can, I foresee a few deaths while making these videos. Oh, I can usually reach that one. Damn it! I think the other one's on the island in the sky. Yes. Twenty seconds. I don't think I'm going to make it. So I might have a really rubbish 20 seconds. Assuming I don't even die here. 